Hello, my loves. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. You are more than welcome to drop a comment. Um, just please be aware that as a reader, it doesn't really affect me because, you know, I clear my energy and ground all day long. Um, but there are plenty of people that this reading will resonate with. So please try to not disregard or disrespect the people that are hurting. Um, you know, we are a family here and we try to be kind to one another. So if the reading doesn't resonate with you, um, you know, try to be understanding for the people that it does resonate with. Guys, these uh, readings could be energy in or around you. So this could be something you're going through, something your person's going through, um, or it could be, you know, something that a close friend or family member is going through. Um, this could also be, uh, you know, it is intended to be love, but this could also be for a friend or family member, okay? It could be, you know, anybody that you care about, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started with your reading, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy. All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for my beautiful Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign. Guys, if you would like to follow me on TikTok, the link is below, okay? So, Leo, I feel like um, we're going to start with some channeled messages here, and then we're going to go into the reading, okay? So, Leo, I feel like there is something here that you just straight up don't trust, like you do not trust, and, you know, I feel like you're afraid to open up to it again, or you're afraid of making the same wrong, you just don't want to repeat the past. That's it. You don't want to make the same mistakes of, of the past. You don't want things to just fall apart again and you're like oh my gosh this was a bad decision I'm, i made a bad decision again okay so leo this could really be a representation of anything you know this could be an ex coming back and you know are you going to give him a chance for the hundredth time this could be you know what i'm saying you making a business decision a family decision any type of decision you know what i'm saying um of i don't want to let someone in because i've been down this road before it's going to fall apart we're going to fight something's going to happen and i know this is a bad decision i'm not going to invest in this i don't want to give to this i don't want to repeat the past i just don't want to you know um so let's see what's going to happen here Tell me about clarity, guidance, love messages for my beautiful Leos, please. Five of Swords, the Ten of Pentacles. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Someone. Okay, yeah, Magician, Virgo, Gemini, Energy, and the Four of Wands, and we've got the Nine of Wands under the deck. Leo, I feel like this is a situation where someone keeps promising long-term, they keep promising stability, they keep promising financial security, they keep promising and promising and promising and promising, but with the Magician and the Five of Swords, it's like they're screwing with your head. Like someone here is screwing with your head. It always seems that this person promises and you're always the one getting hurt with the nine of wands and you're kind of sick of it. Um, with the queen of wands now and the seven of wands, I feel like you're in this energy, Leo, of I don't care about what you have to say anymore. Honestly, with the nine of pentacles here, I'm good all by myself. I don't even need you. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I want you. I don't even need you, right? So I feel like, Leo, there's this energy of you're toying with me too much. You're toying me with me to the point where, like, I'm getting bored, you know? Tell me about the five of swords here. Yeah, someone here keeps promising marriage or some form of commitment. Taurus energy. Tell me about the ten of pentacles, please. We've got the full card, Aries energy, somebody, oh, somebody here, tell me about the four of wands, five of pentacles, tell me about the magician, the nine of cups, okay, so Leo, there's this sense here of, we're going to get married, we're going to do this, have faith, have hope, don't worry, it's going to happen, yet then again, this person has this energy of not being committed to anything. You're constantly fearing that this is going to end. Um, with the Nine of Cups here, it's like this promise. This person promises and says whatever you want to hear, but then again, they act completely different, leaving you feeling 
unstable and in fear of losing something here, okay? Four of Pentacles and the Seven of Swords. I feel like this is someone that truly has no intention whatsoever of giving anything to this connection, but they do want you to continue loving them and having your hopes up so that you give to them. And that's why out of nowhere, here, here we go, Leo, you're like, you know what? I don't need this in my life anymore. I'm better off alone. You know what I'm saying? I'm just better off alone. Let's see here. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Oops. Tell me about Leo, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay. So we've got the Queen of Swords again, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. We have the Four of Swords. We have the World card in the reverse. And we have the Six of Swords. Okay. Um, under the deck, we have the Ace of Cups, Page of Wands. Um, Leo, I feel that this is the side of the person here that I feel like this person likes younger people, honestly. Um, I feel like this person is talking to somebody new. Okay. This person likes to talk to, you know, younger people, good, you know young i don't know how to explain it i don't know maybe they have a porn addiction or so i don't know but they they like talking to young good looking people okay and i feel like you know they're talking to somebody new and i feel here that with the four of swords and the queen of swords this person will say or do anything to ease like to, to make you feel comfortable or to make you not feel guarded or search things. But with the Six of Swords and the World card in the reverse, this person doesn't want you to go. They don't want you to leave. They don't want this to end. So they try to pacify you. Do you see what I'm saying? Like they just say whatever they have to say to pacify you. But trust and believe that this, you have reason to not trust this person, okay? You have reason to not trust this person. Yeah, they, Nine of Wands, Nine of Wands, and the, the Page of Cups. They don't want you to know this. They don't want you to see this. This is somebody that may keep their phone locked or, you know, very private person. They don't want you to know or see what they're actually doing. Tell me about the Queen of Swords here. The High Priestess. This person is guarding secrets. Tell me about the Four of Swords. The Four of Swords here for Leo. Two of Pentacles in the reverse, okay? They want you to trust them. They don't want you to have doubt. They don't want you to get curious. The World card in the reverse, please. Yeah, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Even though they're lying, even though they're not being honest, they want you, they don't want this to end for whatever reason, okay? But you're not trusting them because you know that they're looking for someone else to talk to. They flirt with other people. So they know you don't trust them, but still they stop you from finding out the truth, okay? So you're going to find passwords and blockages. This is not someone that's out to leave their phone open around you. Uh, yeah, see, Six of Swords and the Queen of Swords. Um, this person guards their phone their life and they also block you from leaving okay so this person is very busy <laughs> we're dealing with a very busy person here um let's see here tell me about the challenge here yeah see two of swords and the moon card the challenge here is keeping these secrets from you making sure you don't find out with the page of cups that they're flirting with other people talking to other people um yeah, see, Eight of Swords, Seven of Wands, and the Two of Cups, they know that you're in your head about this. They know that you know something's up, but with the Seven of Wands and the Two of Cups, they, they do, they overcome and they manage to always keep this relationship going. They weasel their way out of it. You know what I'm saying? So the challenge is, is to keep the secret from you. The challenge is, is to keep these conversations secret, make sure that you're blocked out, make sure that you don't see what's going on, Okay. Tell me about the outcome here for Leo and this person, please. Oh, all right, four wanted to come out. Okay, so we've got the Eight of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We've got the Three of Wands, and we've got the Lover's card. Leo, honestly, I feel like you're going to start just working on yourself. I, I see that you're going to break away from this. Be single. Um, you're just going to start looking for a third person yourself. You're just going to start looking for a more steady and stable relationship yourself. You know, I, I don't really see that. Uh, I feel like you're just better off alone here. And you, you know what I'm saying? At least if you're alone. Yeah, see, Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, Energy. Um, 
the Hierophant and the Five of Wands. I feel like, you know, this person's very quick to say that they want to marry you. They're very quick to say that they want to commit to you. But if that's the case, why are you in Five of Wands mode? Why are you always feeling jealous, unsafe, insecure? You understand? You just don't need that in your life. You know, it's just not, it's not a way that you need to be feeling. So I feel, Leo, that you just feel like you're better off alone. You're going to focus on work, focus on your money, which, by the way, I see as amazing. Um, and with the Three of Wands and the, the Lover's card, you're going to search for the best person for you. You're going to for, focus for a true divinely guided soul time. Okay? All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.